Hello, I'm Rob with Custom Fabricating Solutions. I am the inventor of the modular tubing notcher system. By far, this is the best machine for under $10,000 in the marketplace today. We're going to go over some of the features on this machine and point them out in the video. But we're going to start from the left of the machine going right to left or left to right. We have the support roller. The support roller is there because we're actually gauging the part to length and so we're able to support that part in different elevations so we have the support roller. If you need to change the elevation you just do that right here on the gauging portion where it's being supported. When you change the angle for the coping you would go ahead and pivot the uh, vise then this support roller would need to go in that arc and so if your floor isn't perfectly level not a problem you can then make that elevation compensation right there because you're able to pivot this you don't want to be dragging it so we've uh, designed three swivel casters to enable you to easily pivot that support post and or roller for this machine. Very unique design, very nice to this machine. Uh, we have the support or the strut rail. The, the strut rail is for your linear gauging. If you need to uh, s set a specific length, you can do that through this indexable stop. Uh, it, the features of it, if you have to change elevation, you have this feature where you can change elevation through loosening this screw and you can change your elevation here. If you need to change your polar point for which you are cutting in relation to the cope, you can do that right here by loosening this up. If you're gauging a part that is not coped, you sit on the support angle here and you can loosen this up and if it's something other than 90, you can create any angle from this point using that feature on this stop. So very unique, very fast, very repeatable, very accurate. Nice feature. Getting to the main portion of the machine where all the cutting is going on. We are using multiple clamping or tandem clamping. So we're keeping things very secure, very tight, and so we're going to go over the support vise. The support vise is a necessary feature when you're making a cope to cope uh, type of cut. So we're able to clamp it quickly with this feature of the quick release portion of the vise here. So you can go ahead and get it clamped quickly. Setting up is quick too. You got this speed handle right here. You can give that inside support, adjust to the right size tube you're working on. So if you're not working on a four inch, you're gonna to have to move it in and you can adjust it quickly and then maintain it with the jam nut. A definite must if you're doing cope to cope. The main vise. This is uh, the a really nice feature on this machine is everyone else is clamping a little bit different than this machine. We're clamping on the circumference of the part. Uh, by doing that, it enables us to reduce the physical size of the vise, thus getting the ability to do really tight bent tubes, uh, round tubes that would need to be clamped so severe that they would distort the tube. We're not doing that. We're, we're, we're clamping on the circumference. And if the si well, this particular vise jaw is for four inches, which is the largest size that this vise, the standard vise, would, would accommodate. But if you need to cut smaller sizes, uh, we go ahead and we implement an insert and we can, if we have smaller inserts that actually go inside the standard jaws and then you can get smaller sizes, you know, down to one inch on standard ones. For as far as ch a change in the angle of the device, it is done by these two points right here. You loosen up these two socket head bolts and you're able to pivot the vise. Once you pivot the vise and you get your desired angle, you resecure that. That's how you would pivot the vise. As far as uh, the vise being uh, indicated to a specific calibrated point, when you're moving it, you would just look at this pointer right here 
and you would go to your desired degree from where you started. So if you were calculating it from where you started, you could go from there. And or we actually have degree points laid out here on the machine. You can use them as a point of reference. You put it to your point, re-secure, and you're set. Um, and then you got the nice feature of this being in, uh, uh, calibrated in one degree increments. Very large uh, degree ring, easy to read. Um, as I will look, show you on the scales on this machine, we have various scales and various axes. Uh, you have the z-axis right here. All these scales are on both sides of the machine. So if you need to adjust it, you can, you can look at either side of the machine to, to check your distances for your offsets. On your y-axis, you have your scale for your y-axis here. On your x-axis, you have your scale right here. As far as adjusting the x-axis, or oh, I'm sorry, as far as when you do adjust it, you would need to unlock these two points here, and there's two more points on the other side of the machine to, to adjust the y-axis. To adjust the x-axis, you would loosen up these two points right here and move your x-axis and then re-secure these two points right here. To do that adjustment, you would do it on the x-axis right here. This is the speed handle, so if you need to go quickly, rapidly, you can do that quickly. If you need to go calibrate it, you have this dial here, and it actually will give you the actual total movement per one revolution, so it's all factored in right there, easy to uh, calibrate right quickly. In the x-axis, this is where you're moving the vise. It is traveling along this lead screw right here, and it is enabling you to run the machine, whether on the right side or the left side of the machine. So this completely can be flipped around from what you're seeing in the video, but we're set up the way we would recommend it runs in most applications. In the y-axis, this is where you would move the y-axis up and down. You have your speed handle for speed, and you've got your calibration right here for getting the quick setup real quickly. All nice, all the features are right there. You're not second guessing anything. It's, it's all at the hand's touch. So that's your axes adjustment. Very nice features. Um, and we're going to move around to the right side of the machine here. On the shaft support right here, we have your locking point right here. If you need to change your offset, that's how you would do that. Here's the shaft support for the tool. We have sealed bearings here and here with needle bearings, so everything is being able to keep that lubricant in there, and if, it's need, if you need more, you can quickly add more as you're using it. Nice feature. Um, as we come around, we have the standard motor on the machine, the standard drill. Uh, it has a lockout feature that if you were in a situation where you needed lockout features, this has it. So we are able to do that with this standard motor. And so we have that. We'll show you the plug. It's stowed away in the cabinet. Um, nice feature to the machine. Also a feature to the machine is the uh, feed assist. Feed assist comes in handy both in the vertical and the horizontal plane. The standard machine is designed to run in the horizontal plane. It comes in handy when you're feeding it. It doesn't allow it to, to self-feed or overfeed. It also helps when you're returning it, it assists on the return. Very nice feature. Uh, if it was in the vertical plane, you would uh, definitely need this so the weight of this would not self-feed. So a must for this machine. Nice feature for it to have. As far as the stop on this machine, we have a stop. Uh, the stop is necessary because we do a lot of things where we're drilling to depth and or we cut super close to the vise and we would be running into the vise if we didn't weren't able to stop that cutting point. We're able to do that with the stop. Another nice feature to the machine. Um, as we go down to the base of the machine, the base of the machine is like 
the rest of the machine. It's all billet steel. There is no tubing on this machine that makes the machine up. It's all billet steel. Uh, it all has a plating with corrosion resistance. So you can quickly move the machine in its location where it's going to be operating, level it. If you're doing heavy work, highly recommend it to anchor it, uh, but it can be portable if you need it to be. You need to anchor it at these four points right here, and once it's anchored, it's ready to be operated. Um, nice features, uh, not too many machines have that. This one does. As we come around to the back of the machine, we're gonna open up the enclosure, and we're gonna show you some of the accessories that we have. And uh, we're gonna open this up, and we're gonna go from left and go right. On the left side, starting from the top going down, we have the wrench set. As far as tools, you need no tools. Every tool you need for this machine comes with the machine standard. If you were to need something that's not featured in here, we'll talk about that at the end of the video. We have the universal jaws. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, the universal jaws. So if you had four-sided objects, this will grab a four-sided object. You have your clamp jaw, and you've got your um, insert four-sided jaw, uh, jaw. As we come to the right side of the machine, we have the standard wrenches to loosen and tighten the proprietary hole saws. These also will allow you to tighten and loosen the adapters for standard hole saws, smaller ones. Uh, little, the larger ones have a larger arbor. Annular cutters and the uh, drill chuck where you can chuck up drill bits and reamers and you know countersinks, whatever you would need. Those wrenches take care of that. Uh, this wrench set takes care of any other features that might need a wrench. So you have every wrench you would need there for the machine that's in there, stowed away. That uh, lockout feature, that can go inside this enclosure so you're not losing that uh, fact. You can disable the machine when you don't want other people running the machine. As we come around to the hole saws, starting at the top right hand side, we have a one inch hole saw. You also have a one inch insert. So if you need the one inch insert, you can go ahead and pull the one inch insert out. If you don't need the one inch hole saw, well then you take the hole saw, pull the insert off, and then put the one inch hole saw back. But normally when you're doing one inch or two inch, whatever size you're doing, you're pulling them both out at the same time. They're not gonna come dis disenlarged. It's a nice feature to this, you're not losing anything. It goes all the way up to one and three quarter on this side. There's five sizes on this side. And if you come over to the left side, we have the two inch going up to the four inch, which um, we, we definitely are hitting a big market here on that four inch size, we know, but we can do a lot with this machine. It's a very heavy duty machine. Um, and we're gonna get into the gauging portion of this machine. We actually can gauge with these tubes. So if you're doing a cope to cope, or if you're coping one end and flipping it over and you need to calibrate it, you would engage it with the tube stop. You use the tube stop in conjunction with the indexable stop. So you can quickly set up and repeat with this feature of this machine, come standard. So every size that this standard machine will cut, it has a tube stop necessary with it. So one inch all the way up to four inch on this machine. Uh, great features, um, a lot of machine. So we're gonna go on and talk about some final features on it and that's it. And we'll close up the enclosure. So, that's a basic overview of the machine. 
standard machine. You know, if you need a custom setup, we can do it for you. We can engineer it. We can draw it up. We can propose it. We can quote it. If you need uh, special stops that, you know, that would be specifically to your needs, we can engineer those. If you need special vices, we can do that specifically to you. If you need a special insert, you know, you might be a bicycle builder. You might need an oval tube set up. We'll actually make an oval tube insert for you. So these are things that bicycle guys or airplane manufacturers or race car, high-end race car builders, where they're doing the oval tubes, they're like, wow, we can do it here. Um, you're not making your own, you're not having to do the engineering. We're doing it for you. We want to engineer for you. Um, as far as if you were a full-on commercial guy and you needed something maybe beyond what we would recommend this motor, we can give you multiple features for motors. We, we have several different options for motors. This is our standard motor and call us with your application. We can best suit your needs for your, for your application. Um, but that's, that's everything with the modular tubing notch your system. It is uh, by Custom Fabricating Solutions and we're really excited about it. You'll see it in 2017. Thank you so much. Have a good new year.